For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Apple's Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you a bit of a review video on a brand new tent from Van Gogh. So with me here today, I've got the Van Gogh Sherwood Air 600XL and also the 400XL. So the Sherwood basically is a brand new model for Van Gogh. It sort of almost sits between two collections they've done for a number of years. Um, so they've got the kind of more like their Sentinel collection. So it'd be like the uh, Savannah savannas uh, that kind of ilk uh, and it's almost sits below kind of the Anatara collection i.e the elite collection so what Vanga really tried to do is create a product that is still in terms of high-end spec so it gives you you know real cool things like obviously brow canopy doors extra mesh um still air so it's quick and easy but zip dividers and stuff but a more price conscious way and they've tried to really and it just creates something a little bit different a different collection i mean firstly obviously the thing as you can see is the fabric itself it's a it's 150 denier fabric 5000 mil high static head but a really nice kind of forest green i think certainly the color of the fabric i, I really do like i mean admittedly because our corporate colors i'm a fan of green in general but i think it does look really sharp and they've done a really nice job especially with like the embossed material they've done a real they've been in particular in still keeping that kind of eco color lock technology into the fabric itself i.e on about a solution dyeing or dope dyeing the material this is the kind of difference between when they dye the thread before it's woven into obviously the material itself helps to aid with color retention and means it's not going to fade as quickly uh, as you'd expect the thing this almost very in terms of specification so it's a 150d it's very similar to kind of the anatara collection just a little bit smaller in terms of the sizes so as i mentioned it's available in a 600 xl and a 400 xl it's a polyester material so again it's 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 still you know it's fairly it's really nice and waterproof 5000 mil high shot head one thing you notice is it's if you compare it to something like the anatara or for example the ventanis which sits in that top end collection it's it's hitting a very similar price point just because i think the the upper elements of what the Antara and Venteris are and, and special offers they're offering it, it it seems very close in terms to that. So we'll talk for the show and we'll, talk, we'll do a bit of comparison a bit later on in the video. So it's a six berth. It's essentially three zones, sleeping, living, and main um, sort of front awning section. The door section, this is a bit different as well. So what we, it basically zips down um, and zips up. So for example, what we've done here is just zip both of them up as such, but what we can, do, so it creates the ability of putting that complete enclosure if you want it. We've also got curtains supplied with it as standard so again we've got complete sealed nice chunky oversized zips throughout the tent itself and then you just just peg that directly down there so you obviously have front enclosure to it you do the same with your side and it gives you the option you can obviously have it sort of a walkway this side or this side i mean personally i would say you'd keep this side pegged and this would be the main kind of walkway on the 600 model you've also got a brow canopy so you can walk into the side part of the front awning uh, a latter when you have the 400 model you can't it's just obviously entrance from the side and a bit later on in this video i will show you the 400 xl model just so you can compare and contrast about it zip curtains in the front section as well so again that works really well so you've also got great pvc windows but again even the, the color the pattern the color that i see on the um the curtains i think it looks really quite sharp now it's what you'll find is with the 600 xl you're running with a 440 uh, centimeter width so it, i would say it's definitely a true six berth likewise when you move to the 400 xl it's about three meters three meters 20 width so again it is a true four berth so one thing you've got to be aware in kind of Vangus collection is they'll often do a 600 and then another 600, but they'll be different sizes. So this, I would say, is definitely a true, a true six. Whereas, for example, if something like the Savannah is really a more like a four stroke five. Um, but again, different kind of horses of courses on this sense. Brown canopy pole is fiberglass. So again, fiberglass brown canopy pole. This is going to be your main kind of entrance in and out of the actual awning itself. There is also a mesh door built on here, so you can have airflow directly into the front section. What you get a ground sheet footprint supplied with the actual tent itself. It tends to come in two parts, one for the main body and one for the front section. For me, I probably wouldn't put the front section down unless you're having doors sit down all the time, just because any sort of opening you'd have for what is likely to come in and collect on the ground sheet. I mean, you could almost just fold it in half, 
have this as kind of like a wet dry area, have obviously a sealed section on that, or utilize that side door. A bit harder with a smaller 400 size because you haven't got that side door, but in principle it still works the same. Webbing straps are located on the front and the back to get a bit more tension into the roof. It's um, a multi inflation point, so each individual beam is done individually. So you get a manual stirrup pump supplied as standard. Mango's kind of uh, airspeed valve, so bayonet locking onto it, uh, and 7 psi is the recommendation for the pressure. We have got a, it's still got Vango's super sized beam, so it's a bigger, chunkier beam, especially in comparison to something like this there, like Savannah, which I mentioned previously. It would be a slightly bigger beam. Color caught in pegging points as well, so you can see the um, orange, the webbing strap there, which you can obviously attention it. There'll be a plastic orange peg to signify that that peg goes there. Just makes it easier to pitch when you want to. Um, well, pitch it for example, because you peg the back two corners, the front two orange tabs, which is where the sewing ground sheet is, and the front to the awning section. And from that, you will happily pitch. And you can see from my own Atlas pitching pack and how simple and quick it was for myself to pitch. When we move into the main body, we've got a lovely big double spaced uh, sort of living area, crystal clear windows on either side, as well as a one door on this located side here as well. The door itself has mesh built into it, and the zip goes fully down and uh, fully around and down so it does sit properly shut and there's also like the mesh part built directly into that so you have airflow if you wanted to low level ventilation mesh beneath this window where there's a zip to allow airflow in from inside so you have got a little bit more alterations and there's also sky windows or a sky window I should say in that front section uh, comes as standard with a smart pack roller bag so it's a, a rolling hold all bag uh, let's have a grab that out now so it's got a bit of a pack size to it you have an indicator on there of kind of what the pack width is and that kind of gives you a help to sort of fold it away it is on wheels so what you can wheel it about and there also is two kind of carry there's two kind of handles locate onto it so it makes it easier to sort of move around a little bit but again it is because it's an air tent and it's a, a 150d it is going to be a bit a little bit more bulky in terms of pack size uh, let's bring the camera in and have a bit more of a look for the internal size of it so as we kind of come in here what you do find is you have got a fixed panel on this one side so that's the fixed panel so unlike something like the ventanas which can open up fully, this will always remain in place, so it creates, this is always gonna be kind of your corridor. There's a mesh part located on the front section here, as well as the same in the door, so it means your bug-free barrier is gonna be very much this front part here. And mostly it doesn't zip along the bottom, so that's definitely one thing, again, you're kind of compromising on. So again, that's the bug-free barrier. Works really well, so that's obviously full on mesh. You've got a curtain which kind of comes down and to seal that off, and then you've also got the zip one in the door here itself. And you sort of roll that away. There is the option of an additional uh, bedroom that can, comes in, you can get for the 600 XL to make it essentially an eight person, um, same as with like the Ventanas and the Antara. So that works as an option if you wanted to sleep more people. So as mentioned, you've got a drop down lip here. So it toggles up and toggles down. So not as thorough as a zip, but it still gives you a trip free access for push chairs and wheelchairs into the main body. Windows on either side, again, with zip curtains. The zip curtains pretty much everywhere. The only one that isn't zipped is the side one in the main area, which is a toggle curtain. But headroom height, pretty pretty decent in here. I'm six foot two, stand up in the, in the center. You have got this, what they call the villa construction. So it does mean that it does feel a bit more boxier than say, the generic kind of model, so something like, again like the Savannah. Big ice, oversized beams, door on one side, and obviously then a door on the front itself. And when we come into the main sleeping area, what we do find is we've got a, a two, two and a two. It's a 440 width, so what you have is a 140 bedroom, 160 bedroom and a 120 bedroom. So you're just about to get the squeeze kind of a double air bed in all sections. It is a standard depth of two meters 10. So it's not quite as deep as something like the Anatara collection or the Ventanis. Um, so it would fit a double airbed, but you might struggle a little bit with a high-rise airbed, it's worth mentioning. You've still got Van Gogh's uh, Skytrack systems, so the ability of having a hanging point on the beam. It can bring storage organizers, come nice and neatly down like so, um, or have a hanging point for a lantern, run the cable directly into 
a cable entry point, which you've got behind the bedroom, for example. Uh, so again, that's a really nice thing. The other thing to mention as well is there's a mesh part built onto the bedroom. So uh, the front door, it says, has a full frontal mesh. So it means you have airflow coming directly into the actual tent itself. Uh, and again, it's a, a kind of polyester kind of inner as well. You've got Bango's uh, TBS system, tension band system. This is going to allow you to have a little bit more of a, a stability within the tent on those windier days. Uh, the best way to think of it is like an internal guy rope system. So what you can do is it's like an extra bracing. So we can see it located here. So it's argument say you have wind coming from one direction. By having that triangle formation, it kind of stops any movement coming in and just retains the overall kind of shape of the tent itself. Um, in fact, let's bring the camera in a bit closer just so we can kind of appreciate some of these features I've been mentioning up close. So firstly, we'll start with kind of the canopy depth, sort of a decent sized canopy depth. You can see we've got a nice big table in there as well. We have a little cooker unit that's so ideal for kind of utilizing it. Um, this would naturally be kind of your wet dry area for me because also your carving corridors coming directly into here. Nice big uh, sort of depth, uh, sorry, nice big wide bedrooms, so that master in the middle, that being 160, this could be probably the main bedroom for the adults. Kids could have one at either side and I think they can bring friends and stuff. There's also uh, pockets built into the actual inner bedroom itself, so you can obviously utilize that as well. Uh, and then there's a divider in here, which is a, a zip divider, so each section is completely separate to another. But if you want to, you can unzip that and have it to one big open space if you choose to. You've got zip curtains for everywhere as well, so again, you can get the privacy as and when you want to. And then same with this point here, you can see the curtains zip up and cover the main body. It doesn't cover the middle of the sky window itself. And then you've also got uh, the kind of track system. Let me get the camera to focus. So yeah, it's... There you go, so it clips onto the bedroom there. So create a little hanger point for a lantern and that basically will then kind of feed down into the cable inch point. So there'll be one cable inch point located over the side where the light is and there's another one behind the um, bedroom located on there as well. These are little hanger points for a lantern in the main body of the bedroom. As we kind of come through, what I will have a little tour around actually, it's quite a wide span. It's not, I don't think you get the same headroom height as you would with the Ventanis, but it still sits really quite nicely. And I, for me, I do really quite like the colour. I think it looks really sharp. It's almost worth mentioning you can get a, a polled version of this tent, which we've got here. So you can see the polled version. If you like the concept but don't want necessarily the air, that is an option for you. Same spec, spec and features and layout for everything. And then this is the 400XL in the air. So smaller, more compact, as previously mentioned. So you look at how narrow that door kind of is. So you're looking about a 320 width, but it's actually the same length as the larger version. Um, but for me, I think it just sits a lot nicer. It's going to have a small, small and compact. Yeah, like, so you haven't got that side door or that side canopy brow, which is obviously not on this side here. But you can still enter it a decent sort of depth on the canopy section. Still got your toggle up curtains in the front section here as well, just to kind of enclose in hide everything if need be. We've got the door, solid panel on the left hand side. And on the right, you've still got your main entrance door into it. And then we've got a two berth bedroom. So again, a, a two and a two, 140 each side, same depth of two meters 10. And then we've got the obviously windows either side with zip up curtains, sky windows still in place and our TBS system, which was showing and the front mesh panels as well. And then we've got a side door, which would have the mesh uh, part to it. All the tents also have this point here, which is that internal low level ventilation point. So it allows you to kind of internally adjust it, give yourself airflow if you when you want to, or zip it up to get that watertight fixture uh, when you need. And then same thing, we've got sky track on uh, each beam. So what you find is on each beam into the sort of one in front of the bedroom section and the front two as well. So again, sits really nicely, something a little bit kind of different. I mean, if you compare, I'm more thinking on this kind of the 600 sites now. So the Sherwood uh, looks great, great material, good sort of specification. When you take the when you take in the factor, probably things like the pack size and pack weights, it's going to be marginally lighter than something like the Antara or the Ventanis. I think in terms of the 
specification, it's near enough there or thereabouts. So it kind of begs the question a little bit to me is with the Ventana stuff like, for example, on offer, when you look at the price point of the Sherwood, it's not that much more expensive to go for a Ventana over the Sherwood. So naturally for me, I think kind of, I love the tent and everything about it. But when you think about value for money, the Ventana's kind of just trumps it for me personally. Certainly when you get 600 side, when you've got the 450 side, then yeah, can you look at the Anatara and uh, in that sense and go, there's a few things, yeah, the internal features, the new sky track sort of thing. There's, I can see why there's a little bit more discrepancy with me of the 400 XL size, but the 600 size, for me, the Ventanis kind of trumps it and being about similar sort of price point. So, especially when you, and then you've got the option of polyester or poly cotton. So, just things like the, the door opens up fully. You've got the multifunctional front door with the mesh, the PVC with the window and the uh, curtains. Deeper bedrooms, a side pod built onto it. Um, you've still got the smart pack roller bag. Uh, still got the browser canopy doors. There's a lot going on still there. So I think as kind of the Ventanis phases out initially the show would probably will end up taking its place, I think, which I think fair enough. But for the first initial couple of years, while the Ventana's still around, I still think that is the better buy when I think about it, you know, albeit fractionally heavier in terms of the weight. Um, but there's more features, more tents, more space. Just, I think, better value for money in general. It's my kind of personal honest opinion. Like I said, I love the tent itself and love the way it looks, the way it feels, the, the attention to what they've done. It's just... And then they, you know, it's pounds for what you get. So, um, but, but like I said, we're, some, we're still ranging, something we're looking still to display. Certainly we look at, so you've got the option of the pole models as well. So it's worth having a look on our uh, website for our latest deals, offers that we've got on this. As well as things like pack sizes, floor dimensions, individual features listed out. So if you wanted to compare and contrast between different tents and different brands, of course you can certainly look at that and see what you think is, you know, better suited for you. Some people don't necessarily want a grey tent. It's nice to have a, something more of a rich green, as we can see here. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. It's quite nice. It's nice to see something fresh, something new into the season. I'm very excited to, you know, it, for customers to see it as well. It's just, I think, uh, what you pay for what you get initially, it's a little bit more on the expensive side in comparison to what else is on the market at the moment. So, um, but yeah, that's a little video review on the Van Gogh Sherwood Air 600 XL and also the 400 XL. Hopefully it's been helpful. Feel free to let us know what you think in the comments box below. It's great to hear from you guys and what you think. Um, but on all, that's kind of a little video review. Hopefully we'll see you again soon in our next Atwell's video uh, options. And like I said, we've got loads of options to choose from on our YouTube channel. So feel free to have a look around. And anything you want to hear from, hopefully we'll hear from you soon. Cheers.